بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈز دی ٹاپک فار آر ٹوڈیز لیکچر از انٹروڈکشن ٹو پروگرامنگ ایٹریبیوٹس دا پوائنٹس وی ول ڈسکس ہیئر آر فرسٹلی دا کانسیپٹ آف دا ٹاپک دین ٹائپس آف ایٹریبیوٹس ویریبل انسٹنس ویریبل انسٹنس کوڈنگ دین ٹائپس لوکل ویریبل گلوبل ویریبلس یوزز آف اسٹیٹک ایٹ and instance variable then some methods how to create static nested class attributes in C++ and then syntax okay attributes in using programming computers an attribute is a changeable property or characteristic of some component of a program that can be set to different values types of attributes numeric attributes integer numeric attributes floating number double string attributes string number fourth one is string attributes long string and fifth one is enumerations or enumeration list enumeration what is a variable in computer programming a variable or scalar is a storage location paired with an associated symbolic name which contains some known or unknown quanti quantity of information referred to as a value <clears throat> instance variable in object oriented programming with classes an instance variable is a variable defined in a class that is a member variable for which each instantiated object of the class has a separate copy or instance An instance variable has similarities with a class variable but is non-static. Instance coding. An instance in object-oriented programming is a specified realization of any object. An object may be varied in a number of ways. Each realized variation of that object is an instance. The creation of a realized instance is called instantiation. Each time a program runs it is an instance of that program Examples of instance coding in programming an instance is one occurrence of a class or object for example a program may have a class or object named animal but there could be many instances of animals such as lion cat and dog an example using javascript is shown below where the animal object is created followed by three instances type of instance coding as instant variable are declared in a class these variables are created when an object of the class is created and destroyed when the object is destroyed there are three types of variables in java local variables instance variables and static variables first of all local variable all the all the variables we have used thus for have been local variables a local variable is a variable which is either a variable declared within the function or in an argument passed to a function as you may have encountered in your programming if we declare variables in a function then we can only use them within the function this is a direct result of placing or declaration statements inside functions an example of local variable local variables this is a direct result of placing or declaration statements inside functions consider a program that calls a swap function if you attempted to use a was in swap a compilation error would result undeclared identifier since it is a local variable in only main function then global variable a global variable def is a variable which is accessible in multiple scopes it is important to note that global variables are only accessible after they have been declared that is you can use a variable is declared below its usage in the text for instance if we consider this simple program we have one global variable example of global variable A global variable in the program is a variable defined outside the subroutine or function. 
Hence, it can be accessed throughout the program by any function defined within the program, unless it is shadowed. Uses of static and instance variable Instance variables are created when an object is created with the use of the keyword new and destroyed when the object is destroyed. Static variables are created when the program starts and destroyed when the program stops. Instant variables can be accessed directly by calling the variable. <clears throat> Static methods and variables In the Java statement system.out.println today. System.out refers to the out variable of the system class. As you can see, to refer an class's static variable and methods, you use a syntax similar to the C and C++ syntax for obtaining the elements in a structure. You join the class's name and the name of the static method or static variable together with a period. Notice that the application never instanti instantiated the system class and that out is referred to directly from the class. This is because out is declared as a static variable, a variable associated with the class rather than with an instance of the class. You can also associate methods with the class static methods using static. Instance methods and variables. Methods and variables that are not declared as static are known as instance methods and instance variables. To refer to instance methods and variables, you must in instantiate the class first, then obtain the methods and variables from the instance. Systems out variable is an object, an instance of the print stream class from the java.io package, package that implements the standard output stream. System creates out and all of its other static variables. When the system class is loaded into the application, the next part of the Java statement calls one of out's instance methods print in out dot print in. The Java compiler allow you to cascade these references to static and instant methods and variables together and use the construct that appears in the listing above system dot out dot print in. We can apply or use static keyword to create the following inside a class static method, static block, static variable, nested static class. Let's discuss the static method and how to create them. Static methods are declared using the static keyword. For example, public static void main string args. <clears throat> Here the public is an access modifier. Static is the keyword used to declare that the main is static method and void is the return type of the main method. Inside static methods, we cannot directly access instance variable or object fields. Also, we cannot call instance or non-static methods directly. We need to create an object of class, then only will be able to access or call instance variable and instance methods. Static methods cannot use this keyword directly as this is a reference to the object which calls the instance methods. Also, static me uh, methods cannot access the super keyword inside the method. Static methods are used to perform operations that do not depend on objects of the class. Static methods are called without the creation of an instance of a class. For example, static methods are called using class name, method name. Let's now discuss static block. Whenever we want to execute some lines of code or some statements only once, when the class is loaded into memory, then we can use static block initialization. Now let's see the use of static variable. Static variables are like global variables. Only one copy is created for a static variable and shared among all the instant variables at the class level. Static variables are class level variables and a single copy is created. Static block and static variables are executed in the order they are written in the program. Static nested class. 
when a class declared inside a class it is called inner class the outer class cannot be declared as static but inner class can be static few things to note about the static nested class a static nested class may be instantiated without an instantiation of the outer class a static nested class can only access static members of the outer class and cannot access non static members of the outer class have a look at the instance method the instance method belongs to the instance or object of the class to call instance methods we need to create an instance of a class using the new keyword The instance method can directly access instance variables and other instance methods. The instance method can also access static variable and static method. When do we create static variables and static methods? When an attribute is common for all the objects or instances of a class, then we can use static variables for that attribute. and to perform some operations on that variable or to do some calculations we can write static methods for that variable what are c sharp attributes and its significance an attribute is a declarative tag that is used to convey information to run time about the behaviors of various elements like classes methods structures enumerators assemblies etc in your program you can add declarative information to program by using an attribute attributes in c++ attributes are one of the key features of modern c++ which allow the programmer to specify additional information to the compiler to enforce constraints conditions optimize certain pieces of code or do some specific code generation introduced in c++ 11 they have remained one of the best features of c++ and are constantly being involved with uh, with each new version of c++ syntax c++ 11 attribute list c++ 17 using attribute namespace attribute list and upcoming c++ 20 contract attribute token contract level identifier expression Okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation and please also write the summary of what you have learnt from today's lecture in the comment box thank you allah hafiz